Oh. 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 Well, good evening. Good evening. Alright, I said I was gonna... said I was gonna do a little tutorial on how to run patterns. Well, Neil's Catman patterns. The ones that I do and how I move and everything. So, let's, uh, let's go. So, uh, I guess we should start with, um... The way I take corners. Well, actually, hang on. Move this down a little bit. Oh, I don't know if I can. We should do this first, so you can see my hand move. Um, hmm. kind of adjust this a little bit. There, now you can see my hand move. Um, I guess the first thing to do is get um the way you grip. Now, there's a lot of people that grip differently. Um, I like to grip like this. I put my finger underneath the bottom of the joystick, like so. And then I can kind of push, not just with my thumb, but I can push with this finger as well. And I do that at the same time so it doesn't make my hand so uh, sore. Um, I mean, I'm getting older, so. Uh, but I like to do that push like this as well with the joy when I'm pushing the joystick. Some people hold it like this, um, but I like to put my finger underneath the bottom like that, and then it gives me the opportunity to. Uh, I mean, sometimes I like sometimes I'll pull up on the joystick too. I like to play with my joystick loose, like uh, my grommet. My grommet is really old on the inside, underneath the bottom. So it's a lot looser. There's a lot of play in my joystick, uh, but I like that. It's to each person's, I guess, uh, uh, the way that the feel of the joystick. Now you're going to get used to, uh, each person will get used to the feel of their own joystick. Um, a lot of people like to play with, uh, even when you get a brand new grommet, um, uh, it's hard to get used to, um, hang on, if we're going to do this, we might as well do it right. <sighs> Pull them up here. If you guys can see this. <sighs> so... I'll turn it over so you can see it. Can you guys see that? Oh, there we go. So I like to have my uh, my um, my leaf springs on my joystick are approximately on all of mine. They're almost all the same. I'm just raise it up a little bit. I know you guys can see it, but they're all almost exactly all an eighth of an inch. Uh, apart this space in between here probably over on this side of the other. in between the two they're probably about an eighth of an inch apart eighth of, eighth of an inch apart now that's how I like to play but as you play you're going to be able to adjust your joystick um, when you see that something is your moves aren't like when you're running patterns your moves aren't um, uh, syncing up the way that you want them to. Or if you see that, you know, like when your guy is moving in the throughout the throughout the maze, and if you, you know, if you come to a corner and you're actually turning right, and it, uh, it's you're coming down and going to the right, and all of a sudden your guy stops like down, or you're going around. Uh, an S channel and all of a sudden he just doesn't move up and he's just pointing to the right like oh, you're coming up through here and he just keeps pointing to the right uh, so it's obviously not getting uh, the input 
to to go up when you when you're going up. So that could mean either that could mean an adjustment, or that could mean uh, that you need to clean your contacts on your joystick, uh, which is really easy to do. One thing that you will never ever want to do is clean it with a file, like a nail file. Uh, a lot of people think that that's oh that's what you're going to need to do, but never ever 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 clean your contacts with a nail file. Take a, a dollar bill. No, well here in Canada, I'm in Canada. And I was always taught uh, from like from the time I was like 14 years old. I, I knew a, a tech, uh, and his name was Foster. And he always told me, like, because I was hanging around the arcade all the time, and I always watched him and learned things from him. Uh, and he always said, never, ever, never, ever use a file. Always use a dollar bill. Take a dollar bill, fold it, and fold it in half, and then fold it in quarters fold it up and make it, you know, make it about an inch and a half to two inches apart, fold it up and get it to that area, and then push your joystick to the contacts that you need to push it onto, and then take your dollar bill and rub it between the contacts back and forth, back and forth, and actually if you look at the dollar bill after you're done, you'll see it, it'll be, it'll turn black. So, that's the best way to clean your joystick. No. Like I said earlier, I said each person has their own way. Each person has their own way to uh, adjust their joystick, and the only way to get it adjusted the way that you want it is to play and see if it's the proper feel for you. Um, and sometimes, like you know, like I've had this game now for over fourteen years. I built it. Uh, I built it uh, myself. I got the cabinet. Uh, and then I got the wire, I got the cabinet, and then I got the wiring harness, and I got the con this control panel. I redid everything on it. Um, I got the marquee, I did, I rewired the whole cabinet and did everything all on my own. So, uh, the best thing to do, like, you know, for you is to, like, you know, take care of your cabinet because it's going to show in your gameplay. Um, the monitor in here is an original monitor. Um, I have adjusted it for the total, the total span of the monitor itself. So it feels like it's actually a 20 inch monitor, not just a 19. I mean, it's an original, it's an original 19 inch, 19 inch monitor, but I've opened it up as you can see up here, way up here. You can just barely see the top of the height, top of the height score because I've opened up the monitor. So it's bigger. It's not like some of the cabinets that you see will be smaller, um, um, so I've opened it and I've opened the screen as much as I can. I've, I've, I've t I take a lot of work. I, I do a lot of work on my, on my game to keep it hundred percent. So, um, let's, uh, let's go through. I'm going to hit start now. And we're all, what we're going to do is, uh, I'm going to start running some patterns. I'm going to kind of show you, uh, how I do my turns and how I do my things. Now, when I'm doing my turns, you can watch. Um, oh, um, you can watch how I move my hand through the turn, but you won't get the exact uh, points of when I turn. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to say um, now, 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 or else, just so that so that when you're going through the turns. You'll you can see my hand, but um, maybe I'll do uh, maybe I'll say something like bam 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 bam, uh, and then you can get the the cadence of the way I do my way I do the turns on the patterns, um, and I'm just doing this because there are some guys that were asking um, that are running patterns now like Mark and uh, Jake. Uh, they wanted, kind of wanted a little bit of a tutorial um, on how to run the patterns. So I guess uh, here we go. So when I do this one here, I hit bam, 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 bam. Bam. Bam, bam. 
the corners that you're going to do are the S channel. It's really important for speed wise to run the patterns properly. These ones here are real easy to do. Like it's just like a nonchalant run through. This one here, you want to pre turn up there right before you get that second ghost. It's important that you hit that second ghost when and you're facing to the right and you hit him. If you don't, the pattern won't work. This is easy. And then bam, bam. Okay? It's important when you're going through the S channels that you do that. Bam, bam. You got to make sure that you'll get the cadence right, but you can't do it too quick. Because if you do it too quick, it'll screw the pattern up. So it's the same cadence every time going through the S channels. And once you learn it, once you learn the cadence through the S channels and then the cadence through the sides here, where the power pellets are, and running the patterns the right way. Hey, Jake. Um, like here on this pattern, there's certain points that you need to do to make sure that, like, bam, bam. Like it's a slow movement through the S channel. And then... Um, and like when you're going up and around that corner, it's like a tick, tick, like a bam, bam. And then on this one here, after you get the third guy, you, point, you push your joystick up. Don't keep going to the right to get the other guy. The right guy will run into you. But that's a fraction of a second on that strawberry pattern that you have to be pushing your joystick up. And then same down through here. When you're taking this power pellet down at the bottom, you have to push right to make the, to make the, to make the pattern work properly. If you don't, it won't work properly. You have to keep pushing to the right until you hit the power pellet, or that, or this pattern won't work the right way. And then, as you're going through the S channel here, it's like bam, bam. It's like a slow movement through the S channel when you're doing the patterns. Hey, Jake, how's you doing, man? <laughs> Just giving a little bit of pointers on on how to run these on how to run Neil's patterns. So then you start off here, it's like you down left, like bam bam. Through here it's bam bam. It's not a bam bam. Going through the S channel. Well, I messed up. <laughs> I started running a different pattern. Okay. So what we're gonna do is we'll just we'll just uh go through the next one here. I was running a different pattern. So when you come through here, it's bam, bam. And then bam, bam, as you're going through the S channel. And then around, and then that's a, that up and up and back there, right through here, is a critical part. And then like these little corners like that, when you're running the patterns and then back, that's important because you got to go, you have to do a quick motion. Hang on. So when you're coming when you're coming around this way you're gonna when you go up and through here, you have to go when you're coming up, you gotta go up and then bam bam real quick. And then same when you're coming around here, it's a really quick turn, so you can't be like nonchalant and just go la you have to go la la, you have to go bam bam as you're coming around the corners right and like i said earlier when you're going through when you're going through the s channel it's a it's a right and then or it's a right and then down left and then down when you're coming through here it's like a you're coming up here you're going to go right and then up like a bam bam as you're coming through this corner right here so i'll show you what i mean Just get these guys off my back here. Nope. <laughs> 
Okay, so as we come through here, we're gonna go bam bam, right? It's like a quick it's like a quick motion. But if you're coming through here, it's like a bam bam. It's like a down left. Okay, we'll go up through here. So it's like a left, up, down, left, right? Like up, left, up, not a, not a, like down, left, down, right, right? So as you're going through those short corners, you gotta be a lot, you gotta be a lot quicker, right? Like up, left, up, right? But you'll find your you'll find it like once you get it, once you get the motion and once you get the movement, it's the same movement for every pattern through there. There is no difference. There's no difference on any pattern, right? There's no difference. And when you're taking that one there and you're gonna want to get these guys. Don't chase behind them. Like, don't go up and then, don't go up and then down and try to get them, right? You want to go up and then come back around that way because you'll hit them off the path, right? Now, when you're going, one of the things that you need to learn also is, right? If you take these guys through here, you can make, see those guys going around the jail? You can make them go around the jail, right? Here, I'll show you. It's easier. I'll get them together. All right. Show you. Well, I guess I could have did it there. But I'll go up this way. You can make them go up there. That's where... Whenever you bring them through the tunnel, you can run around. See, now they'll go around the jail. Got to get them to go in the right way. Well, let's finish this off here. You got to know the speed as well. Tunnel is your friend, so use it whenever you can. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're just going to go I'll put it in a safe spot so we can see what we're... So I was, what I was saying earlier, uh, if you guys are just tuning in now, is... Hey, Jake. Uh, is I hold my joystick. There's a lot of guys that hold their joystick a different way. Um, I like to hold my joystick with my finger underneath it, like this. Finger like this, and then one on top. And hold it like so. Underneath. So. Um, and what we're doing is just, I'm just trying to give you guys a few pointers on how I run my patterns and how I... How to manipulate the ghosts, even if uh, I guess if the patterns screw up, but how the uh, how the ghosts work from what I see, at least on this pattern anyway, because you can get them to move any way you want, even if uh, the patterns screw up. So. That's right. Yeah, that's a good idea, Jake. All right. So now I'm going to use John's little move. He likes to uh, do this. Bring the pink guy up. Blue guy will meet up with him. They'll loop around, and then the red guy will come meet. Okay. And then I'll get him to follow me. Loop down. Come back up. Take him down and then back up. No, oh, blue guy moves. 
Got to get these guys back on track. I messed up. That's my fault. I messed everything up on that one. I'll get them back together. Okay. So the red and the blue guy are on top. I'll take the brown through the tunnel. Loop the pink guy around the top. This way. And then bring them back. And I'll make them do one more and that'll be a good enough group for me to... For them to be on top of one another. Oh. Guess not. Guess I'll loop the red... Bring the red and the blue down here. We'll be on top of the pink there. And I'll bring the brown guy through the tunnel. And then he'll come up. And then I'll sit right here. And then the brown guy will come up and meet up with those guys in... Let's see. I'll take him down. Loop him around one more time. He's going to go around and then I'll have to... I'll have to move the brown guy to get him on top. Because he's going to be way behind. Okay. So it'll be this one. And then one more, and he'll he'll meet up with them, and I can go down, and take whichever power pellet I like to do. Probably this one here first. Oh, brown guy moved away. What's going on? That wasn't that wasn't good. I guess I moved too quick. I think I'll end up right back on top. That was my fault. I have to move the pink guy one more time. All right, Pinky. There we go. So, there's a lot of different ways to uh, move the guys, and everybody has their own way. John has their own way. Bill has their own way. I have my own way. I like to do this. It's a lot easier. Oop. Oop. Missed them. My fault. That's okay. It's been a while since I grew. <laughs> I'll get these guys back together here. Bring that blue guy up here. There we go. See how you control the brown guy coming through? As long as you go there through the tunnel, he'll go through the tunnel. That's a good enough group, I guess. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Isn't Clyde? Yeah. I like I just I just like calling him brown guy. Everybody has their own name. Okay. As long as you go to the left there and get them on top of one another, he'll go through. The key here is not to eat too many dots and try to get it back up to the top to this side so you can get the ghosts to go together. Now it's easy to just loop around with the pink, run around, bring them through, come back up, bring the blue and the pink this time around the top. So if they get separated like that, you can just bring them back together. Now I'll just loop the red guy down this way, and then he should be back up on top. If he's not, then you just bring, come back up here. I like a tighter group than that. Bring the blue and the pink this way, and then boom, they're on top of one another. Go back up into your little sit spot there. The brown guy will loop around. He'll come back. And if he's... One more loop, one more time around and he'll be right on top of him. And then we'll take the top left. I like to go bottom left first. And then... But you have to wait for these guys. Okay. 
Okay, and then you just come back up here and sit. Move the pink over, loop them back around on top, and they're back on top of one another again. And you just wait for the brown guy to meet up. Now, if he doesn't meet up, see, like right now, the next one, he'll meet up. Okay? Right now. Now he's going to go. Now it's up to you how you want to do this. I like to do it like that. Now, this is important on how you do this lax one because you want to go. You can keep them around the jail. See how I did that? So you can get your fruit because that's important. And then I come back up and clean this up here. When you're finishing your level, it's important to do it that way. I'll loop the pink guy. See, they're not as fast yet. Oops. <laughs> I missed a turn. That's okay. When they're around that side over there. It's been a while since I played, so so a little rusty. When you're grouping, it's no it's knowing when you can go and when you can't. Okay? So now that the blue guy is messed up there, I have to get him back up. Well, I actually don't have to, but it's better when you're going to get your guys going through. I'll loop them through here. I'll bring them up this way because I can beat them because I know that they're running around. They're doing the long, long way around. I can still beat them. So. so we'll go around and we'll loop them again or uh, go around and let them run out the so my point is uh, is when you're running the patterns it's all timing um Feeling the rhythm and feeling the the speed of the pattern. Because the cherry has its own speed, okay? And then you increase the speed by half when you hit the strawberry, okay? Then you have the same amount of speed for the strawberry, the orange, and the second orange, or the peach, actually. Orange, peach, whatever you want to call it. And then once you get to the apple, that's the speed. That's your final speed. From the apple all the way to the ninth key. So it's the same speed. But the problem is, is that as you gradually, as you're speeding up, when you're running your patterns, it really feels like that every board you move, that you, that you, that you complete, feels that you're getting faster. But it's actually from here all the way to the ninth key, it's the same speed. And it's hard to it's hard to keep the same speed because through these four patterns right here you get messed up. And Jake, you'll know you'll know what I'm saying is that um, to adjust the speed of the pattern. Now it's the flow of the pattern that you're really worried about. Like it's the cadence of your turns and um, how do I say? Um, the speed at which you make your turns for each four of these, the first of these four patterns right here. And then also when you're pro progressing through up until the ninth key. Um, some of the patterns are more forgiving, like like I've explained before, uh, the ending of the apple pattern that Neil did. Uh, I just don't get it. Like after you get, like if you're a fraction of a second slow, when you come through here and you get these when you get these guys and you have to pull down to get that guy then you come up and go around and get the rest if you're even a, if that guy is even like on your progression up to that point if you're a fraction of a second different you're going to mess up that pattern and i had a problem with that for so long like so that's why i changed it instead of getting it and then coming up and coming around coming down through here and then going around and doing finishing it off. I just come up, I get the guy, come up, go around, 
to get those two dots and then stop right here and I come straight down and come across. And then I just, because it doesn't matter because uh, when you come through, you're in between the blue guy and the whatever guy's behind you and it doesn't matter because you bring him down this way and um, wait, bring him down this way, get the two dots, come up here and wait for them to reverse and then hit the power pellet and then get those guys. I mean, it's and there's really, that's not a, really a pattern because that's just waiting for them to progress the way you want them to go, right? So, so this is pretty easy here. I'll just go this way and I'll use John's pattern. Thank you, John, for this. This is great. I do it the same way. Bring these guys through. And then I'll get the fruit. And what I'm going to do is loop the red guy, bring him around. And then I'll bring the pink and the blue guy through, brown guy through the tunnel. Pink and the blue guy around the top loop. Bring him over, get him up on top. One more. Brown guy is going to loop around. I'll just come back up and bring him back up top. I'll get these two guys on top of the red, like so. There we go. Brown guy, I'll beat him. Because I was in front of him. You always got to worry about where the brown guy's going. And you have to know. Now the brown guy, the next time around, he's going to be behind, but he'll be okay because he'll, when we go through the... When we go through... Oh, I think I lost the pink. That's okay. Bring him through. I'll just put the pink guy back on top. Here. Bring the brown guy through. Pink around the top. Put him back on top. I lost them there. I don't know what happened. All right. Now they're like one. All right, brown guy should be good to go on the next time around. We'll have to wait and see where he's at. Yeah, he's good. Okay. Oh, I lost the pink guy. Move too quick. That was my bad. The heck. <laughs> that was my fault. See, I'm not perfect either. Well, I am Mr. Perfect, but can't be perfect all the time. All right. I'm going to have to move this brown guy because he'll end up behind on the next round. He'll end up behind here. I'll move him down just by doing that. And then the next time around, he'll be right on top. Here we go. Come on, Pink. What are you doing? Jeez, what's going on? All right. That's good enough for the second apple. I don't like... I don't like that kind of... That group, but it's okay. There. This should be all right. Why are you going around? I'm losing the pink guy for some reason. I, I'm not getting in here. I think I'm moving too fast. Put the pink guy back up on top here. There. I think I'm... I must be moving too fast for that one. Okay, next time around, the brown will be on top, and we'll, I'll bring him down. I'm just not going to move too fast this time. <laughs> All right. There we go. <laughs> My bad. Okay. Now, 
see who's coming around there. You got to wait till they re-energize through there and get back up to this spot and then get the blue and the pink guy to come across. That's important. You got to watch how you do that because if you're when you're grouping, you really got to watch how you do that. Sometimes you'll have to come up this way, right? You got to be careful of how everything is moving and how these guys are progressing through here. Bring the pink and the blue guy up now. So I'll bring the blue on top, or the pink on top of the blue, and then I'll be able to do the blue and the pink at the same time. See, he's right on top. And then I'll bring him around. I'll have to do it twice for them to get on top. One more time. And now he'll be right on top of the red. There. And then I'll come up and just sit here. And you wait for the brown to progress through and move him around. So next time he should be pretty close. The brown guy should be pretty close. Here it is right now. Nope. So when he comes this time, he'll be behind, and I'm going to drop him down here just by moving down. You watch. As soon as those guys go up, they go down, and then he'll come up, and then one more loop around, and he should be on top. Here he is. Bam. Okay. Nope. Not going to work this time. Yep. Got him. Okay, now your progression out of this one is come up right by the jail and then back up top. See how you go like that and then move them up top. Loop the pink around, bring them back down on top of the blue. One more. And then you can do both the pink and the blue at the same time to get them on top of the red. Oh, my bad. I went too, I moved too close too quick. Now you got to bring the blue up here. If you come up here, go across, wait for the blue to come around, and then go up, and he'll come across. All right. I just got to do the pink one time around, and he'll be on top. Maybe just behind. He'll be just behind these ones. There we go. That's good enough for this board. The okay, next one, he'll be right on top, and we'll take the top left. I like to do the left, bottom right, or bottom left, bottom right, and then top left. Oh, pink. I did it again. What the hell? Why is that pink guy doing that? I must be moving too soon. Or not enough, not not, or not fast enough actually. Okay, so this one, the next one, the brown guy will be right on top, and I'll take the top left. Right now. See, I did it again. Easy way to get out of it is to do that move right there. Take them down like that, and they'll 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 go by themselves through that area down at the bottom there, and then you can escape. It's a really good escape move. You need to escape because they'll follow themselves. And I got to take this red guy back around. I got to loop him once, and then I'll have to do the pink and the blue one time to get him back up on top of the red up here. Oh, well, maybe actually twice, to be honest with you. Watch out here! Ah. 
Yeah, stupid pink guy, you better not leave this time. There we go. I think I was just moving too quickly there. See, it's all about timing as well for these. And you just come up here, take them like that, loop them around, loop the pink and the blue this time to get them back up on top of the red. There you go. Okay, now you just go to your little spot, wait for the brown guy. And brown will be on top next time enough for us to get this one here. Here it is. Bam! Now it's important to, how to do this cleanup. Come down. Make sure you come up here. Wait till they go around. Go back. And then you can get your get your fruit. Right? I like to just run around here until I can get them. There we go. Pink will come up. There we go. Everybody's got their own way to do it. Wait till the brown guy goes through. Boom. Okay. Brown guy will come across. He's not going to... I don't have to really worry about the brown guy too much. No. Come around, bring him through. There we go. Bring him down this way. Bring him down and around. Blue guy, where are you? You want to make sure you don't get caught. It's important. Come on. Yeah, I screwed myself here. There we go. Got to get them back together. That's the problem. Ah, oh, get together so I can loop you, man. What are you doing? There we go. All right. That's good enough for me. <laughs> oh. Yes. <laughs> Crazy Clyde. From that movie, what's that movie? Uh, Any which way but loose. Wasn't his monkey's name Clyde? <laughs> Clint Eastwood's monkey. Right turn, Clyde. behind this time and I can loop them down see you bring them down 
Now go back up, and the next time around, he'll be right on top. And we'll take the bottom left. Now, that's the quick. You need to do that quickly. And then through here, you come around. Wait till they come around. Sometimes you got to go up on the right. But you still got them. Bring that blue guy around and back up on top. See? Next time around, the brown guy will be on top. We'll get this one here. Ah, it should be enough. No, that's not tight enough for me. Sorry. Can't do it. Brown guy wasn't tight enough there. Got to be right on top. So, yeah, next time around, he'll be right on top. If he moved enough, we'll see. Yeah, he's good. Bring him that way, back down this way. Bring him around and back up. It's crucial, especially on the one-second boards on how you hit that power pellet. That's a lot of timing for that. You got to stay timing for that, okay? See how you do that bottom loop around that, around the jail there. Now I'll just bring them both back up on top of the red right now. And they should be good to go for this board anyway. I mean, I could get them tighter by coming through here and flashing the pink eye so he goes up and around and comes back. But I think that's tight enough. That's a good enough group. It'll be good. We'll take the top left this time around right here. That's good enough for this one. Because they reverse back into you here. So you're good for that. Oh, come on, Pink. Okay, now if we loop the pink and the blue through here, you should end up almost back on top of the red. Just about. We'll have to take them one top loop. It's like what I call I call it one loop. They should be right on top now. There we go. Okay, so the next time it, may, it might be close. The brown guy might be close. We'll have to wait and see. No, uh, no. Not close enough. Now they'll be he'll be behind this time, but I'm gonna drop him down here. Watch. See I drop him and he'll make a short run up to here. And the next time he comes around, he's gonna be on top of them. See? Right there. That's the close one. And it's important for your cleanup to get these dots. Come up, keep them going around, go around this way, and then you can get your fruit. Watch that brown guy, though. There we go. Now you got to get them back together. All right. Make sure the red guy is always behind when you come up and do this. Go around like this. Red guy's always got to be in the back because he's the fastest. Once I hit this top, once I hit these ones here, the red guy speeds up. Okay, so now you got to, you do it the right way. Got to make sure the brown guy is behind you <laughs> or in front of you. All right, now you can take these.
Oh my god, a little bit of Ken Roswell. Nice. What's going on up there? Nobody's talking. Got one more reverse, or is that it? I think that's it. Important not to go crazy here, trying to worry about your fruit because your fruit stays there for a little bit. So don't get all excited. Like, oh, I'm gonna miss my fruit. I'm gonna miss my fruit. More worried about where the ghosts are and keep your uh, keeping when you're grouping. You got to keep an eye on the ghosts and where they are at all times. Okay. <laughs> You got to know your safe spots and how to move and what to do. The brown guy is going to be too in front of these guys for this. He won't be on top. So I'm going to move him this time and then next time he comes around, I'll drop him here. And then drop him right here. Okay, so he'll come up there and then next time he'll be right on top. Here we go. Uh, it's a race to get up top. If you can beat that pink guy, you're good. Okay? Now you got to get the blue guy up top. Get the blue guy up here just by going up here. He'll go up and you just wait and come across. Now they're back up on top of one another again. That's a good enough group for me. Maybe I'll do the blue guy. Bring the blue guy across. He'll be good. There we go. So he's behind a little bit. That's okay. Now brown guy will be on top this time. Coming around, he'll be on top. And we'll come down and we'll take the bottom right. Nope. Guess he wasn't. That's okay. So I'll move him again because he's going to end up behind this time. And I'll move him, the brown guy. And now next time he comes around, he'll be right on top. And it's important. It's important to know exactly where your guys are going to be and how to move your guys. Right? Like you need to you need to learn that and spend some time just messing around and learning. I'm trying to teach you guys my technique on how to group. So now all I'm gonna do oh I didn't want to flash the pink eye. That's what you that's what flashing is called, right there. Where I made the pink eye move. When you come through the tunnel, if you face him at the right time, he'll actually reverse and go up. That's what I call flashing. I don't know. <coughs> now I'll move the blue and the red. There we go. And they'll be on top of one another. Excuse me. So now we just wait for the brown to uh, loop again.
Let's see, is he going to line up here now? Yep. Nope. That's okay. Spring him around. Now we know he's not going to line up. So I'll just bring him down one. And now he's not going to do it. I know he's not going to, he didn't line up. And I know he's not going to line up again because he'll be behind right now. So I'll drop him down. And then he's not going to line up now. But when he comes around the next time, he's going to line up. And I will go and take him on this side. He stay right here, and he can bring the blue guy or the pink guy across and get him right back down on top of the red. There you go. And you're all set up for the next run. Oh, I missed. I shook my joystick for some reason. I don't know why. I'll just loop him here, and they'll go right back on top of the pink. And then we'll, and then we'll bring him back up here. <laughs> that was my bad. So what it, sometimes you get lucky. Sometimes the brown guy will line up right away, and you can just go take him right away. But I think this time we're good. Yeah. Now, like I said, it's important to do this. You got to come up here and wait till they go up. Then you can go around. Wait till that guy goes across, and you got to get your fruit. It's important to do this. And then bring them back up. And then get, you got to get them grouped back together. That's important. The red guy will speed up and I can do the blue and the red around. There we go. Oh. The important thing is to get the red guy. You got to get the red guy behind. When you're towards the end of your board. There. Now I'll take these two here. I can take them both. And then the red guy is going to actually speed up. But it's important for him to be behind. I'll bring him around the jail. And down and around. And we can do this one this time. Doing that little thing there. You, they have to be the right way, though. Make sure they're the right way if you want to do that little one. Because I've had them come through if they're not the right way. I've had them come through and kill me. It's like when you're when you're coming back down around through here, right? When you come up this way, you got to make sure that the red guy is behind the pink and the blue. If they're not behind the pink and the blue, then you have to come up this way, go through the tunnel to get the red guy, to keep the red guy nice and slow, and then you'll have enough time to come down through here and get this one. But if he is behind, you can do that little, you can come down through here, come up, and go back that way, and it'll send him down that way. And then all you got to do is, you can't come straight across here. You have to go up, around this way, and then back down this way to get him. Just so you know. Not this one, but the next one. They'll be right on top. 
Great. No. Close, close. Okay, too close. Just loop around and then go up. You gotta watch them because we gotta watch the pink guy, right? You gotta get the pink guy up here with these guys. You gotta watch where the pink guy is going. And the brown guy at the same time. There we go. All right, boys. As long as you get them together running through. There we go. Okay, so I'll take the blue guy. Put the brown guy through the tunnel, maybe. No. Blue guy around, and then we'll find out where we stand. Okay, that's probably a good enough group for me, I think, for a one-second board. Yeah, that's good enough. Seems pretty far apart, but for this one down here, it'll be okay. Okay, next time around, no, the brown guy will be behind. It won't be cold. It'll be, he'll be way behind this time. So I'm going to take him down, loop him around one time, and then the next time he comes up and goes around, he'll be right on top. And then we can take this one. No? Nope. have to wait one more time. Take him down this time. Next time he'll be on top. It's all about timing. Like right now. Okay? And then back up to the top. Back up to the top, right? Back up here. Bring them around the top loop. Bring them across. There. Back up on top, right? And the blue guy would take around once. And then he'll be right on top. See? All right, this time, yep. Nope, not tight enough for me. Let's see where the brown guy ends up. Next time, maybe. Come on, jeez. I didn't like that group for some reason. I gotta move the pink and the red. Or pink and the blue. Over. Make sure they're closer on top than on top of the red. One more. Interesting. And I know what I think of you. I might not give an answer that you want me to. It's a little dry in here. My hands are dry. Next time the brown will be right on top and I'll take the one on the top right. Careful when you revert. You got to be really um, precise when you're reversing. Nope. Oh, well. I don't like that group. Got to break them up. I don't like that group for some reason. That red guy's freaking me out. I want to have that red guy right on top. There we go. Three and my legs are thin. 
But don't ask me what I think of you or my not gave an answer that you want me to. I'm never gonna get I'm never gonna get through that. How the hell am I gonna do that? Ah, it's okay. Understand? I said, stick by me, and I'll be your guy. Now. Might not get an answer that you want. Too loud. <laughs> that was close. I got lucky on that one. No, they got all broken up here. That's crazy. How oh, that happened? I'm bringing that blue guy up here. Now the key here is to get the red guy in behind all the time. The red guy's got to be behind. Now I can take that top left part without any problems. I'll loop this red so that he can be behind. Not really worried about that. The order that they're in as long as the red guy's at the back. I guess the red guy up front doesn't matter either. As long as you don't get nailed when he comes down here, if you come down here. That's why you want him to be in behind. Just so that when you're coming up and going around, that he doesn't beat you to this corner right here. And it's happened to me a lot. So... Okay, we'll do one more grouping and then I'll run patterns to the rest. This one will be real easy. Anyway. Sorry I haven't been playing right lately. I've been uh, renovating and moving. And it's just uh, it's taking a toll on me, man. I'm tired all the time. Oh, come on. Ah, I knew that was going to happen. All right. So we'll run this pattern here. So we go bam, bam, bam. It's a, it's a motion thing. It's like a... You need to feel the... Feel the movement of the pattern as you do it. Like it's it's hard to explain. Nothing is real. Yeah, 
you want to watch you in the sleepy town. Let me get to watch you if you see what's going on. Weird, eh? Okay, hang on. I can't see what you were typed there, Jake. Just give me a minute. Now this one here for the bottom left, this is a wham wham for that. And the bottom left is it's your speed. As you're coming through here, you gotta have a quick a quick reversal, man. And then stay to the right and then back and around. Now this red guy comes down here, and you'll know if you've missed something up because if that pink guy out, see, I messed it up. The pink guy comes up and comes around, you've messed it up. Shit. He was supposed to, those guys are supposed to come around. I've actually had a second pattern. I've actually had a second pattern. Hang on. I've actually had a second pattern at what I just did there is how you come up and you come up, loop these guys around. And I, I messed up. But when you come through, you bring them through the tunnel. They'll come up through here and they'll come down. And you come down. And if you come down here and wait, the brown guy will meet up with them. And then you can come back up and get them over on this side. I don't think you've ever seen me do that before, what I just did. But if you do it the right way, the brown guy will come through and you'll meet up with them. And they'll run. If you come and sit down and point downwards here, they'll come back down through here and then you can go up and get them. Just so you know. Hang on. Let's see what you asked. I'm trying to learn. I knew to feel that third energizer on the one second board. Need. Yeah. It's still hit or miss. Yeah, as you can see, uh, same for me, right? We'll do it again. If you run it too fast, it'll mess it up. If you run it too slow, you'll mess it up. So the problem is, is that you can't do it too fast. You want to go, you want to try and do it fast because you have to do your reversal there and you want to do it quick, right? But if you do it too fast, you're going to mess everything up. And that's where, I think that's where you were messing up. And that pink guy is going, like I said, he goes up and goes across. He comes down instead of going across the top. Right? So you just have to stay with the rhythm of the pattern that you're doing. And try not to go too fast when you get that energizer. I'll show you here. I'll do it now. Instead of going really fast. And like I said, the, all these patterns, and you know, Jake, all these patterns are a fraction of a second. If you mess up, you're done. And that's the shitty thing about it. See, I didn't go fast there, as you can probably hear from the sound of the joystick. Oh yeah, and I messed up there again. But I was supposed to come down here and go around. So it did work there. I was just supposed to come up and go around. I was I was talking instead of thinking. <laughs> and I think you got the second key down, right? No problem now with the second key.
Never ever wait till the last second on this one. You got lots of time to get these guys, so don't mess it up. Don't let, don't like, don't ever let them get really close to you. It's stupid if you do that. I've died like so many times doing that. Let them get close just to save time. Stupid. Mm -hmm. Oh crap. I think I messed that up. Nobody's perfect. Oh, slow on that one. That's weird. No, it's slow on that. That's the first time actually that's Almost the first time that's ever happened to me on that pattern. On this pattern. I think I might be slow already on this one, too. Felt like it. That first power pellet there didn't feel right for some reason. No, everything's still good. All right. Here we go. Yeah, it feels right now. That's yeah, good. Oh, I might have ran it too fast, I think. No, we're good. Let's find out right now. Let's see where that red guy ends up. Yep. Too fast. I can tell. I can tell. <laughs> I haven't played in a while, so can't really blame myself. Second key all good, that happens to me. The red guy. Yeah. That's what I said. You got to feel the rhythm of the pattern. You got to feel it. You know. And it's important. Very important. It's one of the most important things about running patterns. It's feeling the rhythm of the pattern and just staying with it and not getting too excited. Like, you know, once you get to the, you know, once you get to the sixth key, right? I mean, you're like, oh, it's the final board. It's the final, it's the final blue time, right? So you're all excited and then you 
screwed up. So you just got to stick with it, you know, gradually as you go through each pattern, you get more excited, more excited, more excited, right? And that's what the game is banking on, right? Yep, too fast again. Too fast again. I can tell you right now, even though the red guy is following me up through, I'm a fraction of a second too fast. He's going to come down here. See? I knew it. I could tell. All right, I'm going to go to the seven. Go to the uh, 19. That's seven. Eight. Just run my ninth key pattern. Just one time to keep it fresh in my mind, and I'm going to shut it off for tonight. All right, guys, I'm shutting her off for tonight. Yeah. All right. Later, guys. Have a good night. Hope everything I did helped you out, at least somewhat. Cheers.